this homemade pita bread is super easy to make they are so soft and tender they are chewy they are so tasty and the recipe is very straightforward all that we need are some flour and water and a little bit of salt and oil to add more taste and ease as a labeling agent so let's see how to make these wonderful pita breads at home So let's start by activating the dried yeast. Yeast always need a sweet and warm environment to bloom up. So here in a bowl I have taken one cup of warm water into which I have added a one tablespoon of sugar and a half a teaspoon of active dried yeast and then stir them well until they have dissolved completely and keep it aside for the yeast to get activated. In another bowl, take 400 grams of flour. Here I have taken 300 grams of plain flour and 100 grams of whole wheat flour. I'm adding 1 teaspoon of salt and 2 tablespoons of olive oil. And now we are adding the activated yeast mixture. And then we need to mix them together with the help of a wooden spoon until we get a shaggy mass of dough. Here I have added two more tablespoons of water. In this recipe we need not to be very strict on the measurements. The dough may be a little sticky that's okay but if it is too sticky we can add a little more flour and if it is too tough we can add a little more water and the point is that after kneading for six to eight minutes our dough should be soft and supple and elastic enough to withstand all the stretching and puffing and the softer the dough the more softer and tastier our pita bread will be now our dough is ready and lightly oil a clean bowl and place the dough inside it and lightly coat it with some oil and then cover it with a plastic wrap and now our dough is ready for the first proofing so let them rest in a warm environment for one and a half to two hours or until they have doubled in size I usually keep it in the oven light And now our dough has risen well and what we need to do now is to gently deflate or degas the dough and turn it on to a lightly floured work surface and let's give them a little shape so that we can divide them into equal pieces. And then shape each small portions into small balls. And roll each ball into a circle which is approximately 6 inches in diameter and not more than 1 fourth of an inch thickness. and place the dough disc on a lightly floured surface or onto a parchment paper and cover it with a damp cloth. So after this final shaping, we need to let them rest for about 30 minutes or until they puff and rise slightly and they gain their shape.
So now let's take them to the stop top for the final step. Lay a rolled pizza on a hot skillet and bake for 30 seconds until we see bubbles starting to form and then flip and cook for 1 to 2 minutes on the other side then flip again and cook for another 1 to 2 minutes the pitas should start puff up during this time and if it doesn't or if only small pockets form we can help them by pressing the surface of the pita our pitas won't puff up if our skillet is not hot enough so make sure that uh, the skillet is hot enough and keep the cooked pita bits covered in a dry towel so that the steam get entrapped within the kitchen towel and the pita breads can remain fresh, warm and soft. And pita breads are best when eaten immediately after cooking. And I can promise you that after you make this easy homemade pita bread, you will never want to buy the store-bought pita bread. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will try this recipe and I'm sure you will love it. For more recipes, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and thank you so much for watching this video.